A very warm welcome to the channel. My name is James and today we are going to go into the basics of the Free Gorges Dam. The dam just here. Now, why am I doing this? Even though I've been talking about it for the Free Gorges for 15 months, well, basically, for certain reasons, I had to delete a lot of my videos. And it, luckily, I got some backup, so I can remember everything. But this is sort of just like a recap. And for those people who haven't joined the channel yet, or haven't subscribed, or haven't seen it, a very warm welcome. And just highlighting about the biggest hydroelectric dam in the world. The length of this dam, let me just get to one side a little bit. Now, the length of this dam is, is this the hand? Yes, it is, it is 2.3 kilometers. What's that, 1.6 miles long. The height from sea level is 185 meters above sea level. And the safety level of the actual dam is 175 meters. If I go back to the height, some websites say 181, some say 183, some say 185. That would be the very top of the dam, where there have been reports before that it has splashed over the very top, especially last year, when in 2020, when there was lots of, lot of rain, more than this year of 2021, and the Free Gorges Reservoir, which is 600 kilometers long from Chongqing all the way to uh, Yingchang, the Free Gorges Dam area, 600 meters, suffered unprecedented floods. And the Free Gorges Dam in 2020 uh, had its sluice gates open 24 seven, you could say for about three or four months, 2021, it's only been open for uh, like a couple of weeks. Now, today is October the 7th. The actual webcam from the dam is down, but we can see the levels and it has, it is saying 167, 168. We can check that. But the information we get is from the Free Gorges Dam Corporation, the company which runs a lot of hydropower in China and they give the facts and figures, but mind you, this all comes from the CCP. CCP, we all know, is not transparent with numbers. Related to the really bad situation, which is coming up to two years old, or getting close to it, <coughs> excuse me, all the other numbers that we have from different countries seem to be accurate. But if you type into Google the situation, China, no numbers, they seem to be sort of like stuck at these certain numbers, which we sort of very difficult to believe indeed. The Free Gorges Dam is China's Achilles heel. It's started, the idea started when China was the Republic of China way back in the 1920s. And with that, Mao thought of the idea, Mad Mao, and it was only implemented in 1994 when it started to first be built. And it was completed, well, nearly completed in about 2006. The idea was to control floods. But the Yangtze River, yes, it did have floods. Ever since the Free Gorges Dam, they are controlled floods. Last year, the Free Gorges Dam flooded Wuhan. If it wasn't there, the Free Gorges Dam Sorry, if the Free Gorges Dam wasn't there, Wuhan may not have flooded last year. It would have just been the natural flow of the Yangtze River. So that was one idea, but my thoughts are, you can't control weather, you can't control rivers, you can't control Mother Nature. She is very unpredictable, and there is a certain reason why she would do these kind of things. So what else was it? Electricity. It was meant to produce electricity for oh, 10, 100 million people, 100 million people. That's, you say, like 10%, just under 10% of the population in China. But hydropower is not a reliable source. 
levels go up, levels go down, it relies on rain, it relies on the more rain can produce more electricity. But what happens when you have a dry season? You can't produce. So it's actually at something like 5.4 million people. The construction of it. When it was being built, the Free Gorges Corporation did actually ask an international company to come inspect it. They did, and they said it's not safe, it's not sho it's shoddy, it's bad workmanship. The Chinese builders, engineers sort of laughed this off and called them some rather impolite words. It is been in operation since 2006, so let's say 15 years. The serious engineers who have been covering the dam, who know and understand about dams, have actually said it's just a matter of time. It's going to be sooner than expected that I'm going to use the word collapse. Maybe not in our lifetime, but I could say possibly before, let's say, 2021 now, let's say 2100 in the 22nd century. Does that make sense? I hope so. So these are all things about dams. Um, because I'm doing stock coverage, I will go into, again, things about leaks, cracks, satellites, if I can find them, um, all related to the Free Gorges Dam. If you do have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment form. If I can't find the answer for you, then this is a great thing about, you could say, YouTube, social media, etc., that you can ask a question and some professionals can answer it. And as long as it makes sense and as long as it's logical and as long as it's kind of polite, that's all fine. It's a group sharing information. I know some people would say, you say it's collapsed. I actually never have actually said it has collapsed. I have said the possibility and maybe and predictions, but these predictions are quite logical. Look at China's dams. There's 90,000 of them, or a lot of them are quite small, but there are some big ones. There was a dam that collapsed in 1975, which China hid, and unfortunately quite a large number of lives lost. There have been two dams which have collapsed this year. There's even reports that 50, sorry, 45 to 50 percent of China's dams are unsafe, unreliable. Most of them are small, but you can say they haven't been maintained, they haven't been looked after, they are not very well, they're in poor health. Is the Free Gorges like that? Well, the information coming out of the Free Gorges is very little, it's very sparse. I did actually speak last year to one person whose brother or cousin actually works there. And trying to get information was, I didn't want to pressure and push the guy because it could lead to, and it is in China, a sensitive issue. The Chinese government remarked the Free Gorge Dam as an incredible success. When it first opened, it was a big tourist attraction like Disney in Shanghai or the new attraction in Beijing at the moment on Universal Studios. But it's not a big attraction now. You can still go on a cruise through the Three Gorges. I have one a YouTuber, uh, Donald, hi Donald, who did actually go from Chongqing all the way through and sent me some pictures of it, but I'm not too sure long ago obviously before COVID, and I think he was stuck in China for 45 days, lockdown in Chongqing, when the situation first started there. I sort of digress a little bit over that. So this is all about the Free Gorges Dam. It's just a basic introduction with the dimensions, the levels, etc. Please give the channel a like, a subscribe, and please share with your friends. Because of the situation which happened to me on, it's like starting afresh, and I really truly am banking on support, not necessarily financial, but banking on support by the subscription to the channel and giving it a thumbs up every time. And you can find out um, when I broadcast a video, either by the notification button, that would be one way, 
or you can come and join me on Twitter and I will always post a video when it's being released. Well, most of the time. And Facebook as well. All the information in the, of course, the description below. That's it for me. Thank you for your time. I look forward to giving you another video and I will hope you enjoy that one as well. Wherever you are in the world, have a happy day. Good day. God bless. Thank you.